Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to study the delete statement. So the delete statement deletes one or more records from a table. We're going to go over two examples and I'm going to show you when, uh, when there is no condition, there, uh, you are going to delete the entire table. So you need to provide a condition. So let's see what it is that we want to delete. So I'm going to come into this locations table, uh, not this one, regions table. And from the regions table, let's say I want to delete the Americas, this region which has the origin ID, which is 2. So how can we delete that? Or maybe not that one. Um, so we have locations. You know what? I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to say, first off, we are going to write delete. Then we need to specify which table it is. So we are going to say from, uh, what is it, regions. Then we need to specify which specific record it is. So we are going to say where region underscore ID is equal to. So this where clause, again, we are going to talk about it a lot. This is going to evaluate this statement as a Boolean expression. If it returns true, then it is going to delete it. Again, we are going to, I've dedicated an entire chapter, so I don't want to dive deep into how the know-how of this where clause. So when it is two, and then we are going to run this statement. You can see that it says one row affected. So if I come here and if I refresh this, you can see that the region ID2 is, has been deleted. Now, how can you delete an entire, uh, an entire uh, table? So let me copy that, comment that one out. We're gonna, uh, we gonna work with this one. Now let's say you provide the delete. You provide the regions table, but we, for some reason, you forget to provide the condition. What happens in this case? And you need to be very, very, very careful because this is this is permanent. When you're working on a real-world application and let's say you want to delete only one record and in taking our previous example into account, you have 10,000 purchase entries. Now imagine all of them being deleted and this action is irreversible. That's a very bad thing, right? A terrible thing that can happen. So... Be very careful whenever you're using the delete and the update keywords. So if I save this file and if I run it, okay, I'm not sure why is my computer running hot. So there is nothing in the background. So if I run this, you can see three rows affected. And if we come here and if I run this, you can see that we don't have anything else in our table. So this table for this database has been changed permanently until we supply more rows into it and we know how we can add rows or entries to a table we use the insert statement right you know that but imagine if the if there were like 100 rows 1000 rows 100,000 rows would you then enter all of them manually no so be very careful whenever you're using the delete statement you need to provide in the where otherwise not only that specific column the entire table is going to be deleted uh, this is different than than it worked for the update statement for the update basically the entire column was changed not the entire table but for the delete the entire table is going to be deleted that's it for this lecture and this is going to be the end of the CRUD functionality so we know how we can extract data from a database, how we can insert new data into a database, how we can update existing records of a certain table of a database, and we know how we can delete them. So this entire idea of CRUD has been explained using code. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.